Hello guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how we can create an app in MIT App Inventor that can help you to increase your concentration power. So as you can see here, we have that game, okay? And as you can see, this is the first screen of our game. And in this game, you'll find the score and the value is zero. And you will see there have wall and one rectangle here. And you'll see here the start game button. Now, what we need to do here, we need to make sure that ball should not reach the edge. Okay, now this is the age, you know, yellow, yellow rectangle. Okay, so what I'll do, I'm gonna make that, uh, you know, that ball should be in the center. How I'll do this? As you can see, that's my phone here, right? So I need to move my ball, uh, phone like this. You will see here, like this. So I need to make sure that uh, that phone should be like this. And I need to click on the start play button. And you'll see the score. Oh, the score is three. Let's click on OK and let's play again. Make sure I need to uh, concentrate on this. Okay, so I'm not going to speak. Let's see. Let me let me just concentrate on this. Okay, game. Oh, 19. Okay, so that's the overall game. Okay, so that we will create here. So let me show you how we can create this game step by step. Here we go. So click on start new project. My project name is Concentration Game. So as you can see here, that's our first screen. Okay. Now what we need to do here, we need to just use your layout. So I'm gonna use your the vertical arrangement and drag and drop this like okay like this now i'm going to use your one canvas so in the left side you'll find the drawing animation and see the canvas make sure that should be in a center so what i'll do i'll just click on the vertical arrangement and make this both in a center like this and now what i'll do i'm going to just change that canvas width and height so i can make it like uh, you know 50 50 pixels like this 50 pixel width and 50 pixel height like this make sure that uh, you know that canvas should be very very small okay and I'm gonna just put one ball over here. I'm gonna just increase that ball radius to the 10. Okay, and I'm I'm just gonna increase that uh, height and pixel is like 70, 70. It will be great. Okay, like this. Now you need to make sure that ball should not touch the edge of that canvas. So I'll do what I'll do. I'm gonna just make change on the vertical arrangement background color to something pink like this. And for the canvas background color. I can add anything like you can see the pink or you can add the orange something like this I'm gonna just click on the user interface and I'm gonna just drag and drop one button here and that button name is start and I'm gonna just change that background color of that button make sure the font bold and uh, the font size at least 16 I'm gonna use your one label to make some difference between the wall and the canvas like this and I'm gonna just make that height of that label to the five percent so it will look like this cool so i'm going to add here one more uh, layout and that is the horizontal arrangement where i'll display two level that will display the score okay so one level is this and that label just say here text score like this i'm going to just add the score um, text should be like font size 80 and make it font bold but make sure horizontal arrangement should be the width should be the fill pattern like this and uh, that should be in a center from the both side like this and i'm gonna just copy page that label and that label value will be the zero like this and i can increase that you know size of that uh, score like this cool you can change that score you know vertical arrangement horizontal arrangement background color to the pink like this okay so that's our overall uh, you know app design cool so once you click on the start game button so that will start and your score will start increasing okay now how this will work so simple i'm going to use your one the sensor and that sensor called clock and that should be okay that should be enable that should be fire every every you know every uh, 10 times in one second like this now go to the block okay and make sure that uh, clock should be timer should be disabled good block once i click on the start button okay uh, button one button one click so that timer should start okay the timer should timer should be enabled like this okay true and uh, that once the timer should enable then we need to do one thing then once the timer will fire so we need to add the value in the level three okay this is the score you'll see your level 3 is this okay so that score is 0 right now so I'm gonna add here the math and just add the value so I need to get the current value of level 3 so current value of level 3 is 0 so like this and I'm gonna add that value to the 1 like this like this 1 
got it now we need to use here one sensor and that's called go to the sensor and you will see here the orientation sensor that wall using this sensor we can move our wall using uh, our phone sensor okay and so go to the block section and click on the orientation sensor like this okay so once the orientation sensor changed okay so we need to do some basic coding so we need to move our ball so you will see here ball dot move to the x y now what is the x and y value okay so we need to get that x and y value so how we will do that so it's simple is that first we need to just call their max okay and that should be that should be the plus okay and where is the plus this one call like this okay now you got my point like this now what we need to do here we need to get the wall 1 dot x value wall 1 dot x value is here this one so get the wall dot x value now now what we need to do here we need to do one thing more here we need to get the orientation sensor dot roll value and make sure that will value multiply by minus 1 and divided by 2 that's the formula okay so click on the orientation sensor and you will see here the roll like this to multiply that value with minus 1 so we need to use a maths and you will see the multiply so we need we will call it under this we will call orientation sensor here now i'm going to just use the maths and the value should be minus 1 okay and after this value we need to divide that value by 2 go to the maths use the divide value like this and make sure that value at this so that can be divided by 2 whole value like this okay divided by 2 now make sure that just copy and paste that value like this and we need to just change the ball dot y and we need to change the roll to the pitch this is so this is the formula once you move your phone so that ball move move according to your uh, you know movement of your hand phone okay now we are our ball is moving now we need to use the condition here if the ball touch the edge okay so if some the ball touch the edge like uh, edge reached now the ball click on ball and as you can see here the ball once the reached of the edge so edge reached this so what we need to do here once the this ball reach the age of here anywhere okay once we uh, you know move our phone like that so this ball will reach here so we need to make sure our game should over right so how we'll do that so once the ball age reached then we need to check if the timer is disabled or enabled if the timer is enabled okay so his clock if the timer is enabled so i'll say here timer is enabled okay now we need to use your condition like i'm going to use the control like this if the timer is enabled then make sure we need to stop the timer okay because otherwise the score will automatically increase okay so the timer that should be false okay once the ball is reached it means our increasing the score will stop okay now we have stopped the score now we need to make sure uh, here any pop up or something so i'm going to use here one you know a notification or something here notify this component go to the block and i'll call again notify here and see something some message like this one should i a box so in this dialog box i'll display something like uh, you know text and just say here your score or something okay so a score and for that I need to use here the join because I need to you know uh, use here something like this here and I need to get the score so the score is need to be add from the label so where is the score okay so as you can see here the when the clock so level 3 dot will update okay so here is our score so level 3 dot text this value this value will be here like this now the title you can say anything is like a score or great job great job or something and for the button i'll just say here try again or something okay now we need to make sure that label 3 value should be zero okay so how we'll do that so it's simple is like i'm just gonna copy paste this thing here and i'll paste it here and that should be okay and make sure that should be here 
and that should be zero that value should be zero okay and delete this got it now once i click on the button one so the timer will start it means our score will start if the ball is reach if the clock is enabled then we need to disable the clock and the we need to show the notifier that will show our score the score will display in the level three and set level three dash value should be zero again so that will uh, that that is a loop something okay so that's the overall game that we have just created okay so if you have any doubt you can ask me in comment thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to our channel like this video and share this video have a nice day be safe bye bye